Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of this week's Legend PsyOps Battlegrounds. It is the EDZ. I am doing it on the Warlock. As you can see, these are the fragments and the aspects that I am using. Uh, but probably the mod that goes on the class ability, the Devouring Depths, I, th I think it's called. Devouring Depths. That's probably more important than the fragments and mods. But if you're really interested in them, you can pause the video, have a look for yourself. Uh... I'm using a well setup, an elemental well setup, which which is is pretty decent. Uh, bountiful wells, so I produce more wells for each time I produce a well. Uh, bomber, basically, I, I put down my rift. I'm gonna get a, a grenade energy. Ardent ordnance, so it gives gives the Galahorn a twenty percent damage boost when I become charged with light. And to couple with this on the chest plate, I have put on, as you can see, elemental charge. Every time I pick up a well, I'm going to get times two charge with light, which will give me two God Slayer warheads. I think they're called. Uh, stacks on stacks, get an extra stack of charge charge of light, and uh, I've I've also got elemental ordnance, so I will produce wells. When I, when I get kills with grenade, and I've got ashes to asset, so I get more super energy back on grenade kills. Controverse hold helps with getting the grenade back really quickly as well. So I'm using Time Loss Fatebringer. I'm, I don't use that for any damage. You can use any hand cannon to couple with this run. It's just for stopping uns unstoppables. So as you can see, it's the EDZ, as I've already said. It's... Uh, yeah, it's, there's a lot of arc shielded knights. <laughs> there's quite a few arc shielded knights here, so hence an arc ball, which also is my anti barrier weapon. I'm going to be doing as much of this from range as possible because, I mean, right, it's a it's a legend activity. So uh, the legend psyops is a 1550. Uh, it's a 1550 activity, but you. Probably most people already know you can only overlevel an activity by 20 levels. So once you hit 1570, you're as powerful in this activity as you can be. So even though I'm quite a bit higher than that, I'm just as I'm I'm capped to basically 1570. So for a 1550, I don't have hit hard. I've got I've got the double mod on for Arc and Solar Resist, which gives me 40% basically damage resistance against arc and void and even still i'm gonna get melted so in this first area you're gonna have a, a, a whole concoction of uh drag acolytes arc shielded knights couple of wizards you're gonna have a light bearing hive who's a sentinel a sentinel shield uh knight and you're gonna have a champion which will be a barrier uh so, as you, what I'm trying to do, you'll see me do this throughout the run. I'm trying to do, and what I suggest you do is change your angles because the the ads throw quite a lot of grenades, and you obviously get that solar burn. So every time they get a bead on me, so take this area for example. I'm just gonna pre-throw. There's always a lot of ads waiting down there for you. Uh, the great thing about the grenade, obviously, out on the warlock is I get devour, so I can be a little bit more. Uh, aggressive, but not to the point where I can just ignore ads coming in. I'm just wanting to get him. I was a little bit worried here. I remember this because that 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 uh, moth, that lucent moth, that the it's like from from reading the lore, it's like an infection that the the hive set off. Now that they've got the rejecting the light and the way of one of the one of the effects of rejecting the light as they let out those little moths of light that explode. They're aggressive. I was worried about finishing that night in case that moth exploded and, uh, yeah, took me as well because they do a lot of damage. You've got Shriekers as well, so I'm going to push up here and try and activate the Shrieker because there's nothing worse than, than trying to deal damage to adds and there's a Shrieker piling you at the same time. There's the Lucent Knight just, just in front of us, so what I'm going to do, I know there's going to be a lot of adds there, so I'm just going to throw my grenade, try and clear as many of them out as possible. I like to get rid of now there's an argument here. I've heard people say this, and I'm 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 just gonna throw my hat in the ring. I've heard people saying that uh, the the light bearing acolyte's the worst. It, no way. <laughs> that sentinel is the worst. His attacks can reach you when you're in cover. You know, and 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 you're not always sure what attack is coming. 
So sometimes it's uh, sometimes it's, it's suppressing grenades, which can one hit you. Sometimes it's a shield, which will pinball off of 14 walls before it hits you while you're in a, a security bunker almost. Uh, m for me, the worst one out of all of them. There's the champion, he's put up his shield, and we might be able to get him and the wizard. Once you clear out these two wizards here, so obviously I tried to get the champion as soon as he spawned, I figure that once I clear the light bearer, and then the little, the couple of ads after the light bearer in this area, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the champion. The champion spawns only a couple of enemies in with them. Normally, once you've took the champion, you've took the wizards, you've cleared this area. Now, the most difficult part of the psyops, the legend psyops, is the next couple of rooms, and it's not the rooms, it's the wizards. One of the main changes that the legend has brought in is you can't fire your sword attack at the at the wizards. You've actually got to sword them. And if once you break their shield, you've got your super and you drop your sword to super them, they reshield immediately. I, it took me a couple of... I've done this maybe... done the psyops three or four times, and I think it took me... It was really infuriating me, because there was one time I had to kill like five knights before I realised why what why the, the, the wizard was reshielding. You have to use the sword. So, which kind of makes sense. But when I say use the sword, what I mean is you have to use the sword, like drain the sword. So you've got to keep using it until there is no sword ammo left. If you do that, the wizards don't reshield. It's if you drop the sword with sword ammo, they reshield. So they do a lot of damage, but with a sword kind of you'll see you'll see for yourself, it's like the sword has an inbuilt uh <laughs> inbuilt knowledge. Uh because it seems to it seems to throw you past the wizard right at the point where the wizard's starting to do serious damage to you. So it's like the sword knows when you're going to die or, or, or when you're in danger. So once you clear out the enemies in these, these areas, so this area, we're going to have a whole bunch of them back here. I'm just going to put a, a rocket on them. Then you'll get your sword knight. I was unlucky there with that rocket. Uh, not unlucky. Tried, tried to put it down too fast. Now, we with these, the, the bigger ads, I'll just, just kill him outright. Once you kill this Sword Knight, you're going to get a bunch of ads here. Yep, I'm, I'm burning quite a few rockets there, just just out of uh, necessity almost. So you'll see here, right, we're just going to go after the Knight, the, 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 the Wizard with the Sword. And I'm just, once the shield's gone, I'm just going to keep going until there's no Sword Ammo left. Now you see there, she hasn't reshielded. If I was to drop the sword, she would have reshielded. They, they're super tanky on Legend, a lot more, a lot tankier than they are on Normal. So just keep going after her with the sword until the sword runs out. Then you can throw your super, start hitting her with heavy, you know, whatever it is you're going to put put on her. But make sure you've drained the sword. So I'm just going back here, and the reason why I, I kind of excessively used rockets when we moved up here is because I knew I had. A, at least a brick back there. I'll, I try not to be overly uh, liberal with my rocket usage unless I've got rockets, unless I've got ammo on the floor. Because when you're running a double primary build, you are looking at your abilities, you are looking at your heavy to, you know, do the heavy lifting. So when you get in here, you're going to have this, but a whole bunch of bads are going to spawn in front of you, right? The most difficult part of this 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 section is a lot of these ads, like, like most of the game actually, they, they, they'll hide. Now, thank thank God uh, Chaff isn't on, uh, because you could get yourself in some sticky situations. Those uh, those those moths, just be aware that you don't have to hit them to get them to open up. You've got to shoot near them. It's not like I'm, you'll see I just shoot in the general direction of them most of the time just to get them to get into their damageable state. So you just shoot in their, their, their location. Just trying to clear, I know that there's, I'm, I'm getting my rocket ready because in this wave of ads that comes here, I think it's that wave of ads, I'm not taking a chance. I never got them. Maybe, maybe, maybe he spawns on the other side. 
Uh, you see there? I mean, it's a 13, it's a 1550 activity, but you do get hit. So there, there's a there's an acolyte. That's what I was starting to say. I thought he'd come in with that wave of ads. There's a like an elite acolyte that comes in with that bunch of ads, and I wanted to I wanted to take him out quickly. We're all good because we're still getting still getting decent bits of heavy dropping. I'm not sure if it's because it's the first week of the Legend Psyops. I must have... Oh no, I, I, I didn't get... I, I don't know if I got him now. No, I didn't. So, normally, this knight won't spawn in until all the ads are dead, but... Well, did this time. And I, f I, find, that, I find that quite funny. We're just going to put a quick rocket here. See, the great thing about the galley is, even if the rocket doesn't hit... Uh, if the rocket doesn't doesn't hit, Wolfpack will do a fair amount of damage. So, we're going to just use the sword to kill the last couple of Thrall, and then I'm just going to go straight after the wizard and just try and avoid her shots. Because a couple of these wizards really kind of, really kind of got me. Uh, and when I say got me, I don't mean damage-wise. What I mean is they got me in respects to... Uh, you see there, got me in respects to, uh, I'd fire my super and they'd have reshielded. So I'm going to put my grenade down here, and the reason I'm going to do that is because it weakens, which means if, if, if I can break her shield, break her shield while she's affected by the grenade, the sword's now going to do an absolute ton more damage. This is the last section before the boss. Okay, and this is, you're going to have a couple of ogres. You're going to have two yellow bar ogres. I'm just waiting for the dude to, uh, to properly spawn in, because sometimes if they're not properly spawned in, uh, the, these bigger ads, they, they kind of... It's not that they're immune, they just don't take the proper damage until they're properly spawned in. Uh, so I was saying, yeah, I don't know if this is because of this is the first Legend PsyOps, but I felt like it was really buggy, like glitchy. I felt like some of the ads, it wasn't... Wasn't all the time, but I definitely felt like the ads were, you know, disco dancing a, a little bit more than a little bit more than than I'm used to. And I normally notice this when something new is put into the game. It's like it's like you know, it takes a couple of it takes a day or two for it to settle in. I don't know if they're obviously they're working behind the scenes, you know, assessing bugs and, and, and any kind of irregularities. There's your overload. Uh, unstoppable, sorry. I'm not going to bother going after him just yet. Uh, because he's surrounded by ads. So I want him to let him get a little bit closer so that if I, when I fire the rocket, the rocket, all the rocket hits him, all the wolf pack, all the rocket. In this area, these ads will hide. They'll run and they will hide. It's when you break cover that they'll all, they'll all be like... I love that. You know, you really have to be careful uh, just coming out and pay attention to your mini-map. You know, we were in good cover there where we, where we were attacking from. So, you can come out while still in cover. So, as soon as you see... So, we'll take out this guy here, this throw. As soon as you see objective complete, that normally means that you've taken out all the ads, but a couple of times I've noticed that it hasn't actually done that, so that grenade should take out the Sword Knight, and then we just put a rocket on to clear. Now, it still says there's ads up, and that's why I never went straight after the wizard. I wanted to get the other side so I could see what ads were still up. Unfortunately for them, it was just a uh, Acolyte's uh, throw. So... I'm still, I'm still going after her, and you can see, I'm not, I, I, I can't tell you why it never worked in the last area because I've done the exact same as I've been doing. Burn all my sword ammo on her, and then fire the super. Maybe you only get a certain amount of time of her being unshielded, but that is how to keep her unshielded: is to burn all your sword ammo while fighting her, and then you're gold. Now. We're obviously just scouring the area for some heavy. 
next area is the boss battle. Now this is kind of the start of the boss. So it's not really the boss. So what we're going to do is weaken, weaken with the grenade. And I'm just going to put... I just want him out of there, right? Now, I've said this before. A lot of people say a lot of people. I don't know a lot of people. <laughs> Some people have said we want that heavy. Yep, we got it. Some people have said that the Galahorn's tracking can be a little bit weird. It goes without saying that you have to wait until you hear the beeping, like the tracking signal. But you also have to, you can't just flash it at, at the enemy and expect to get full tracking. So now we're in the boss area. There is a strategy for doing this, or at least I have a strategy for doing this. And it involves uh, getting the hell out of there. Okay. This is probably where I spent, you're talking about, I mean, this probably took me about, what, about 20 minutes? at the boss so I'm gonna split the boss up in the video on so that I'll timestamp because it's, it's it's a for me I felt like this was too long a boss battle uh, and, it, and it literally was because you cannot just go and attack I had a real problem landing my grenades to start with but we, we ended up getting there and and what happens is so before the way this, but I think I think most people have done. He'll teleport out. Thank you. Most people have done this just on the normal, right? So you guys know that the idea is you've got to do so much damage to this the 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 acolyte in the other room to get to this part. We're in the mainscape now, right? And the way it works is you take down. He's got the Morak, the Light Stealer's got three health bars. Three sections to his health bar. Each time you take a section of the health bar down, then you get two projections of... Uh, you get First time, you get one projection of Sabathon. Second time, you get two projections of Sabathon. And what you've got to use the Synaptic Spear to take them down. And then once you've taken the projections down, you get Morat comes back for a little bit more. The way Morat works... Now, this, people say... And, and as, um, I mean this. that I hear this so often. That this acolyte is the worst. Nowhere near the worst. His attacks are so predictable. And I'll tell you what they are. It's not like he just throws attacks at you all the time. He doesn't. He'll fire, he'll go into his super, and he will shoot on, normally, he will shoot two super attacks at you. Sometimes, you'll get three. But the majority of the time, it's two blade barrage attacks. They, he'll throw them, they will sit in the air, and then they'll fire. It's not, it's not random. He will, light them, he, will, he will throw them, they will sit in the air, and then after a couple of seconds they will fire. If you wait until he, uh, you kind of, it, it kind of marks them, right, on the, on, on the, on the mini-map. When you see him kind of jiggling, that he's he's getting ready to throw them. So when jiggling's not technical term for it, but when you see his his character kind of moving about, kind of go left to right to left pretty quickly, that's him throwing his super his super attack. When you get the projections of Savathun, uh you're going to get an unstoppable that will come from the back center of the map. It's the same location as as normal. So now we're going to have to try and get the synaptic spear. So what I tried to do was uh, that's what I tried to do was throw a grenade, get devour, proc devour, so that I could go up there. And maybe if I needed to put a rocket or whatever. Uh, and just keep getting my health back in case, in case Savathun tagged me. Now, another thing about the Synaptic Spear is it has two movement uh, options. And it's for for PlayStation users, it would be L1, R1. And it, uh, for Xbox users, it would be uh, left bumper, right bumper. Left bumper does like uh, a blink jump. So it's perfect for getting out of trouble. That's what we're going to utilize, and you'll you obviously I'm 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 trying to explain what button I'm using, but you'll see here. 
There you go. I press left bumper and I kind of... It's not really a blink jump per se, but it's... You, you teleport forward a little bit or you kind of... Is, is it like... Is it like um, Top Tree Warlock's kind of dash? It's like a dash. Dash, that's a good word. That's the right word for it. Right, now that she's, she's went left, I've just seen her. She's gone left. Can I get up there to get the spear? I'm trying to wait till I get my grenade. So I can throw my grenade. It'll get kills while I'm while I'm getting away. There we go, I've got my grenade. I can charge the grenade. Throw it on ads. I can take a little bit of heat. Because obviously I'm going to keep getting devouring. You'd have seen there the dash attack. Now the synaptic spear has a little bit of tracking. So as long as you're within, you don't have to be some sort of Olympic javelin thrower. As long as you're in, you see that you've seen there that extreme track. Now, this one was good. Two Novas in a row. <laughs> so, she has all the supers, obviously. She she can go between all of them. Charge on my grenade. I'm going to do the same thing again. Put it down there. Get my devour propped. And then that Sabathon gone. And I'm just going to use the synaptic spear to take out some of the ads that have kind of pushed. This area that I'm in now, th this is where I'm, I'm basically going to be for the whole time. Because... Right, so the next time, that was a brilliant spear throw. And yeah, I know I'm saying that. Self-glory is no glory, but I was just impressed by it. Uh, so that's the first Savathan gone. Now we've got Morak back. And we know we have to take down his next health bar. We don't get any champions during the Morak section. So it's just us and him. For the first section, he... Uh, I'm just going to throw my super there. For the first section, he he will be up in the middle where I'm, I'm firing now. The second section is going to be down on the left. And then the, his final stand, he's going to go right. Now, I'm not really... I want to keep some rockets. I'm not wanting to burn too many rockets. But I do still want to keep putting a little bit of stank on him. I, I, I want to put a little bit of heart on him. So, I don't want to be... At the back here, just waiting for grenades the whole time. Uh, but similar, I don't want so you can. I don't want to be just kind of standing around twiddling my thumbs, you know. But if you have to, do it. Now, what I was saying about earlier on about him, you can see his movement. It's that little, that's that little place marker, that little diamond on this. You can see that, right? So you'll see here. He kind of does like a three. You see that movement? It's like a couple of movements in a row. Left, right, up, down. When he does that, that's him firing his super. And the super doesn't depend on what you're doing. It will sit in the air for a, for a second or two. Then it will come firing at you. So you can actually be a bit more, all right, that's his super. I'll let him fire it twice. As I say, sometimes you get three of them. Uh, I haven't noticed if it's three all the time, actually. I don't want to give out too much kind of, or any, misinformation. I see a brick of heavy up there, so I'm just trying to clear a couple of these ads. I've got my grenade, so I'm going to throw my grenade, land it on those ads, get my devour. I'm still, I'm still getting hits. So I've, st see there? I wouldn't have went for that heavy if I didn't have Devour. Because of, at very worst, if I needed to, I could have fired a rocket and got a kill just to get my health back. It's it's really is a bit of a get out of jail. So there's a, a bunch of ads down there with him. Even if I don't hit him, I'm going to hit the ads. And he's almost gone. He's gone. So that is him gone now. He will go immune. He will disappear. Now we're going to get two projections of, of, of Sabathon. One will be on the right hand side, one will be on the left. You can see the synaptic spears, uh, they show up in the, in the, on the map, but the, the projections of Sabathon don't. We also have our second unstoppable. 
who will come from directly in the center. Now, now where I am standing now, you are safe from both of the Savathans because you're in cover from left and right. Oh, there's heavy on the right there. Nice. So, <laughs> I'm talking to myself here like, like I haven't already done this run. Just going to go up here and get this heavy. Try and make myself a difficult target to hit. If you're ever having to, if you have to go out into the open at times, make sure you make yourself a difficult target to hit. Do not just run in a straight line. Right? That is that that is the worst thing you can do. Now you'll see a bit of a theme here. And I, I've already spoke about it. It's just getting you guys maybe to recognize the theme. Nearly died there because just I I uh I relaxed too much because of the theme. And the theme was uh, I I thought I had Devour, so I thought my grenade was going to keep killing enemies, and unfortunately, it killed all the enemies it could kill. I wasn't proccing my Devour without a kill. I'm, oh, I try to keep a grenade and look to see where the ads are. I'm just going to... That, that, that is a... That was a great throw. Because even when I threw it and I remember throwing it, I wasn't sure... I was going to, uh, I was going to hit anything. So, you'll have also seen when I got the first, the first synaptic spear that I, I, uh, missed the first two shots. The tracking isn't, it's not, it's, we're not talking about, you know, superstar tracking here. It's, uh, you've got to be in the vicinity. You have to be throwing the spears in the vicinity of, the projections and it and it and it, and it, it almost seems to me when you do get that extreme change of of direction it seems to me that the reason why you're getting that extreme change of direction is because you were already long you know you were already uh you were already locked on to Sabathon and then she moved so you also seen there that kind of the Icarus dash effect. When you do so much damage with the synaptic spear to the right hand side, actually it works the same with both. She will run away. She will run to where she is now and you're just going to have to put up with that. You can still hit her relatively easily. Again, not really wanting to push until I've got my, my grenade. So now she's moving back out. Uh, I feel like the two of them have moved enough that I can maybe get something going here and then that one comes back and then I get attacked. So I, again, retreat. Should have waited for the grenade. You know, and that's kind of, that's kind of the reason you can see, you can see yourself. There's the projection of Sabathon on the left and the one on the right's peppering the rock to my right with her super. If you don't take care of this and you don't take your time and you know, at least make the effort to uh, to not get hit. <laughs> then, you know, and you it, it 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 doesn't matter about the time. If you don't make the effort to not get hit, you're going to get hit, and that is the difference between getting stuff done and not getting stuff done. Then, so that's a la her her last dying breath with her super. Now we can go up and get... The only thing that's going to stop us getting this right-hand synaptic spear is the ads. And we, we've got a grenade. I can charge it. There's an ad right up on the synaptic to the right. I'll just put that down there. Let it do its business. I should be able to get away. And if I am getting shot, I can use my synaptic spear. Because I've already procced Devour. No. I'm, I'm, you see here, I'm moving up a little bit to, to throw the, throw the spear. I don't have to throw it from here. I'm, I'm pretty open throwing it from there. I can actually throw it pretty close to where I get the spear from. And I'm in cover because as, after a while, it seemed like I was only getting three or four ads consistently spawning from the right hand side. Just put my grenade up there, which I'll take out. There's a, there's a knight there. The grenade dealt with that, so it means and just clear these ads and keep proccing my devour. There we go. 
and there's, there is another ad up here. I've got no because of my movement, moving from from not my movement because of changing location, being able to being able to kill those ads there uh, consistently. I have full super, and like I say, if you're getting hit, don't think you can't use your synaptic spear to clear whatever's hitting you, because you can. And that is what we're going to do until the light bear, until uh, we've killed this projection of Savathun. Is we're just going to keep moving between where we can shoot, where we can throw a spear from. She, she really does like to make it difficult. This, the last one likes to make it a little bit difficult. I couldn't see where that last... Ah, uh, there he is. So I, ha I don't have a grenade just yet, but we're good, we're good. As long as I stay in cover now from... See, the minute you think that you're safe, you're not. <laughs> the minute you relax and think, no, I'm good, I'm good, you're not. They just hit so hard. Look at that super. That's crazy. So, again, back up here. Grenade and add. Pick up the, the, the fonts. Which gives me almost my my grenade back. And now try not to hit a tree. It's always good if you can miss the trees. She's almost gone. There we go. That is the last aspect of Sabathon. Now we're gonna get the light bearer who's gonna go to the right. So now we have to watch out from the right hand side. So now I've got to try and get my grenade just right, which I didn't, but I can put the well down, the rift down. And again, you'll see his little diamond, it'll kind of do a shuffle. And when it does the shuffle, he's, he's fired his super. So it's not like the super is completely unexpected. You can see when he's firing it. Just his, his little diamond thing. I think he does actually fire three of them. So what, again, when he's not in super mode, and he'll do this consistently when he's not in super mode. Normally, he'll run and hide. Have full heavy, so I can afford to put a couple on him. You will get this every now and again. Ads will push down a, a little bit closer. But when I say ads, it's normally like two. It's never like a battalion of them. You're not going to get overrun down here. Right, let's find out where... Oh, he's really backed away. But I think if I show him... I think he goes back. There we go. I think he. I think he runs away if he feels like, you know. Oh, this is dangerous. I think he. I think he has the ability, or the, the cat, the 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 movement pattern of that ad, uh, will make him run away. The reason I keep missing the grenades is because I'm throwing them up out. It's a nightmare. All right, so. Actually, as funny as this might seem, a great time to actually fire your Galahorns at him is when he throws his super because he, 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 uh, he, he stays, he doesn't move, you know. So, we've got our super, but I'm, I wasn't confident without Devourer because obviously we've got that Devourer in depth. I wasn't confident that it would do enough damage to really justify throwing it. There we go, he's, he's in super mode. He's teleported. He teleports just before he fires them. And now what I'm going to do is just going to go for it. Will it kill him? Will it kill him? Oh, for real. So we're going to try and drop a grenade on top of him. And there we go. Morak, the Light Stealer, has been defeated. Uh, you'll see me get the triumph at the end. I've still got to, I've still got to finish his ghost, and then get out of dodge. Again, I tried to throw a grenade just to kind of help myself. But the minute you finish his, his uh, ghost, you're golden. And that is the run. That the, the ethos of this run is: be careful, make sure everything's clear before you move forward. Get your grenades out in front of you. Get your devourer. Use the devourer to help you move to locations. When you're at the boss, make sure that you're in cover from the light bearer. The ads aren't the issue. It's the light bearer that's the issue. 
and you too can do this solo flawless triumph achieved thank you very much for everybody that's watched the video if you did enjoy it, a like would be amazing leave me a comment tell me what you thought about the video but your support is the most important thing so uh again thank you very much guys uh you got all you all you guys stay safe i hope you're still enjoying the witch queen and i will see you guys in the next video